Hi there, this is John Highman from Commercial Real Estate Online. Welcome to the program. This is the audio show where I like to share information relating to commercial real estate brokerage around the world. Now in today's program, I'm going to talk about the advantages of working sales history in your location to build your opportunities with new listings and new clients. Of course, it's time to grab a coffee so you can come back and listen to the program and make some notes and indeed build some new actions from the ideas that you get in this program. Don't forget to visit our website at commercial-realestate-training.com. And now, on with today's program. So if you're looking for new business in commercial real estate, particularly in the coming 12 months. There are some things to think about so you can establish a system of contact with the right people in the right way. Now, it's all about strategy. It is all about systems. Consistency is so important in getting anywhere in commercial real estate. I suppose the one word that stands out here is habits. The habits that you create in your real estate day will help drive your real estate business forward. So think about it. And here's an idea to help you with one particular system that is quite useful for brokers and agents today. I call it the advantages of sales history. When you start working in a new area of a city or a town, or perhaps your business is struggling, then there's one leverage point that you can work into and drive some new business from. There are the facts from history in the local area that will help you find new clients and properties to list. It all comes down to the history factor, the history leverage. What can you do with that? Let me explain. It is the history of the area and the transactions within that area. There are things that you can do with that. So how does this work and how can you use it in your real estate business? You're the broker, you're the agent, how can you use these things? It is a fact that property investors buy and sell for unique reasons that are special to each of them. And of course, we have to find out what their reasons are. And I get that. Still, the frequency of a property transaction is on average happening beyond a period of three to four years for most property investors. How many clients and prospects do you know now that purchased a property in your region about three years ago? And why does this equation work? I said three to four years. Perhaps four years is the turnover point. So how does this four-year average arise? Evidence shows that the change in the property values and the activity of the property market over a three to four-year period will usually present new opportunities for those investors in your location. That typically will give the property owner new reasons and new opportunities to act on and enter into other sales and purchase decisions. Of course, values can go up and the property or refinancing situation can change. That will also help drive a new property purchase transaction. So if you're looking for new clients and or listings to work on, try a focus on the property owners that purchased properties in your location three years ago and beyond. That three year ago cycle then puts you into the contact with these people, these new people, so that you can be there to help them when they get to the next property change or upgrade. So there is a list in your location relating to sales and purchase activity about three years ago. Look it up on your records. It's not just your brokerage or your agency. It's every agency, every brokerage, every property transaction about three or four years ago. So what can you learn from this? Look up those property people in your local area sales records. Commercial real estate and property ownership or change are typically on longer activity cycles than most other investment channels, such as the stock market. Commercial property ownership, the sale and the purchase decisions are made on a longer cycle. That's why I say go back three or four years. Now, this idea is a potential basis of growth in brokerage. So implement the plan of contact to find those listings those new people entering the market soon. Those people who have purchased a property some time ago, three or four years ago, 
and could get to the situation of property purchase again, maybe even sale again. When you know these people, you will be there to help them when they get to the next activity change, the churn factors in commercial real estate. Think about these actions. Number one, focusing on property types and by locations. Find the sales transactions that happened over three years ago. Number two, contact those people who now own those properties to see if they want to purchase and or sell again. Recognize that the property market has changed since they last purchased. Of course, the same can be said for those people that sold three or four years ago. They may wish to again create an active transaction in the market to bolster their investment cycle, their investment returns, their investments over time. Recognize that the share market is not as stable as commercial real estate when it comes to long-term gain. Now, the last point here is number three. The cycles of contact that you start with these people should be ongoing and typically every 60 to 90 days. That says that they may not want to talk to you today about their property situation, but if you reconnect with them over 60 to 90 day cycles, they will get to the point of wanting to talk to you and that's where the meeting creates a future opportunity. So you're using the telephone, you're using meetings, you're creating links with those people to help them with their next property activity at the right time in the right way. So what I've said here is really a very simple strategy. It makes you research into your town or city, the property market transactions in your town or city. Simple strategies in commercial real estate always exist when you consider the history and the local area. Get to know the local area, dissect it, split it up, look for the things in the local area. Use the facts of the market, the lists within the area, the sales history. All of those things will give you facts to work with. You don't have to sit by the telephone and wait for it to ring. That's not the way to be thriving as an agent in commercial real estate. Use the data. Use the data from the location, the history, the previous sales as a basis of contact to new people that could be preparing to act again in property sales and also leasing activity. And so that was the program for today. There's some ideas there that you can use relating to sales history and where that sales history can help you with listings and with clients. So think about the system, develop it into your real estate business in your location. Now, don't forget to visit our website because I'm going to put these notes into the cycle of emails that I send out to my subscribers online. So check out the website, join the community online and get these notes as part of your real estate resources going forward. Now, of course, the website is commercial-realestate-training.com. This is John Highman signing off for now. I look forward to talking to you again very soon with some more ideas in commercial real estate brokerage. Catch you soon.